Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to do another episode of Mouse Mythbusters where we test out different techniques for repelling mice and rats. Now many YouTube viewers sent me suggestions on what they do to keep rodents away and I've already posted videos testing out peppermint oil, Irish spring bar soap, dryer sheets, and predator urine such as fox and wolf. Well many YouTube viewers also recommended trying hot peppers. And in my garden this year, I grew some of the world's hottest peppers. These are the Carolina Reaper. Now there's a variation on Carolina Reapers called Pepper X, which is even hotter. But basically these are some of the world's hottest peppers and they should work. So what we're going to do is chop these up and place them around the barn and chicken coop with motion cameras and see how mice and rats react to the world's hottest pepper. I'll go ahead and eat one now. We'll take off the stem. This is what the mice and rats will be tasting. Just pop it in the mouth. Oh man, that hits you right away. Oh. Instantly it just closes up your mouth. <coughs> it's only been a few minutes and my mouth is on fire. Ow. Especially in the back of the tongue. My face is going numb. These Carolina Reapers are so hot. Let's go test them out with mice and rats. Oh. Well, it's now been a few days since I ate that pepper and instead of filming, I just wanted to lay on the couch in pain. It was actually really sad because that was the first time my son's ever seen me cry and he was really concerned. From the moment you put one of these in your mouth till the moment it leaves your body, you are hurting all over. But it's definitely hot enough, it should deter the mice and rats. I'm gonna chop these up for our test, but before I do that, I'm gonna put on some gloves. Safety first. So I'm gonna pull off the stems and then chop them in little pieces. Look at all those seeds. Ooh, those are the good stuff. The smell of spicy peppers is overwhelming. I have a nice pile here. Let's go set up our test. For a test to see if hot peppers actually repel mice, I'm gonna set up a bait station. I'll put two piles of bait. Then in one of the piles, I'm gonna mix up the hot peppers. Just smush them in there. Make sure those seeds are covered with the oil. And then finally, I'm gonna take our hot peppers that I chopped up, and I'm gonna rub a perimeter. Just make sure those juices smush right into the wood. The only way for the rodents to get the bait is they have to climb over the hot pepper juices. There's pretty much no way to avoid it. That is a really strong smell. I don't expect them to eat the sunflower seeds mushed up with the peppers, but they might try to get this pile. But to do that, they have to climb over the ring of fire. Let's see what happens. Well, that was unexpected. I really thought this would work, but in every case, the bait was gone. The mice, the rats, they climbed over the peppers. They must have got the juices all over their fur, their paws, and their mouth, but they even ate the pile of seeds that was soaked in pepper oil. Just one of these peppers is enough to make a grown man cry, bring on so much pain, make it hard to breathe, 
and yet the mice and rats didn't seem affected at all. So as far as mouse Mythbusters go, this was a failure. Even the world's hottest peppers crushed up fresh with juices wasn't enough to keep the mice and rats away. Keep leaving your ideas, I'm still looking for something that works. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the button right there. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you want to see how to try to deter or catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.